I'm Peter Levavy. I'm the Senior Vice President at Brinshore Development. We're the developer on this project along with the Rebuild Foundation. And I'm Jack Schroeder. I'm with Landon Bone Baker Architects and I'm the project manager working with Catherine Baker as the architects. It's a rehab of an existing CHA project. Uh, it was 36 units previously and it's going to be 32. We're tearing down four of the units to implement an art center that with Brinshore, you know, Brinshore is partnering with Rebuild Foundation and the Esther Gate Studio to create some programming uh, with the Art Center. What's really unique about this project is very few of the CHA developments are being rehabbed. This is one of the very few that they have allowed to move forward. So it's the first time anyone's tried mixing public housing with uh, artist housing anywhere in Chicago, as far as we know. This is a case of first impression, and everybody's very excited about it. Most of why we decided to work with what we had was to keep within this fabric and not, not just clear it out and start from scratch. Mm -hmm. uh, so a big part of this is just getting these back to being solid, sure. you know, safe, safe places to be. And that's where we were saying it's, it's a complicated job um, and we're, we're digging deeply into contingency early to make these things solid. Architecturally, we're, we're really kind of bringing it down to its base and then we're doing this kind of glass box with a big shed roof that's meant to be a really welcoming, wide open, you know, bright, you know, beacon of a space for the neighborhood. Programming wise, flexibility is a huge thing. Um, we've talked about wood shop. I mean, it, it could be almost anything. At the moment, we're looking at it as a movement and dance studio. So we're doing a lot of research on appropriate dance floors. Um, the Aster and Rebuild have really great connections to um, some pretty major dance groups and, and teams in the city, so we want these, this floor to be something they feel comfortable you know, working on and not, not getting injured. There are three types of income tiers, as we call it here, uh, in our mixed income development. So the first tier are public housing units. It's always around a third, so 12 of the 32 are public housing units. Then there's 11 affordable units. These are units where the rent is a little bit less than market, and it's income restricted to people who earn up to 60% of median income. And the third tier are artist units. They're unrestricted market rate units, and uh, they're the most expensive units. And they're special. They have a loft in the front and uh, some unique features. So the artists that are going to live here are given a preference to move in. They have to demonstrate to a committee that they are, in fact, artists and are willing to volunteer uh, to be part of uh, what's going on here in this development. And uh, it's the first time anyone's tried uh, specifically an arts-focused development in Chicago, mixing public housing with artists. And that's a challenge. It's a challenge on any site in a low-income neighborhood that's lost a great deal of its population. You have to be offering something that's different from generic in order to attract people who have options to live anywhere they want to live. Having this art center and having these really cool artist units and having programming right on site and having a focus around the arts, we hope is going to be something that's attractive to people who can live anywhere they want. So bringing them down to the south side is one thing, bringing them down to Greater Grand Crossing is even more difficult and uh, we think that by having the buzz of the Astor Studio and work that's going on just around the corner, having the art center, having an arts-focused elementary school across the street, community gardens, wonderful backyards where uh, all kinds of public activities are taking place, is going to be the kind of catalyst that is going to bring people in uh, that's going to enliven this community. So um, we don't see any reason why that wouldn't work. Uh, we think it's a good idea and uh, we're very excited about doing it.